I'm going to give you 10 tips that the best Rainbow Six Siege player in the world, Shaiko, on Team BDS uses in his gameplay. Over the past year, he's plus 287 on KD, plus 63 on entry stats, and is the highest rated player in the world. And today I'm going to show you all the tips to how Shaiko does it. How is Shaiko just that much better than everyone else? What contributes to his gameplay that creates these crazy stats compared to every other player in the game? And you can use all these tips in your own games to improve as a player. Tip number one is going to be changing your head level in gunfights. As we watch Shaiko perform a master retake with his team, watch how in every single gunfight he is constantly moving left to right and up and down. He never stands still and he never keeps his head on one level. He's always standing up or crouching down and he's always moving either right, left or counter strafing. This means that the opponent has a harder time tracking him because they have to not only perform the tracking on one vector of horizontally left and right, they also have to track vertically up and down. This gives Shaiko a higher chance of winning the gunfight because the opponent has to trace on two vectors horizontally and vertically at the same time, which doubles the amount of variables, making it harder for the opponent to hit that all important one bullet headshot. Tip number two is going to be using utility to isolate gunfights. And you can do this with any kind of secondary utility, flashbangs, smokes, or frag grenades. Shaiko here is gonna be using flashbangs and watch how he isolates the single gunfights. He eliminates the crossfire by using his secondary utility. He doesn't get a kill from it, but you can still see the concept that he's working with if we go back and slow it down. Shaiko knows there's one elbow and one Shaiko. Funny that. With the first flashbang, he clears the close elbow position. He then flashbangs into Shaiko so that he can isolate the elbow gunfight. He eliminates the crossfire and he tags up the smoke, not landing the all-important headshot. And then because he has flashbanged Shaiko, he also has the time to be able to turn around, shoot the Fenrir, which is the only piece of utility stopping his entry on the second time of asking. Tip number three is using cover to isolate gunfights. On this entry, Shaiko knows that one is kitchen and another one has just been droned in showers slash short to his right. After the kitchen player swings, look at how Shaiko isolates each player without being exposed to the other by using the cover of the flipped over table in dining. This means he yet again eliminates the crossfire by utilizing cover and then he'll shift to blocking off the short player using the cover and holding the kitchen player through the hole. You can see how there was a crossfire between kitchen and short onto dining, but Shaiko uses and maneuvers round the cover to isolate the single gunfight each time. This then leads me on to tip number four, which is only reloading when 100% safe. Look at Shaiko right now. He has 18 bullets in his mag. A lot of players here would have reloaded. Shaiko doesn't. He waits for the drone to clear kitchen. As soon as the drone clears kitchen, he then reloads. He knows the kitchen is now safe and he's not in any danger of being swung at any time. So he then reloads. This means you'll never get caught off while reloading. You always have your gun up at every chance unless it's 100% clear. Tip number five is changing your pace of aggression. This round, Shaiko and Brid are in a 2v4 in the first minute of a round. And a lot of players, a lot of teams would immediately, as soon as they're in the 2v4, just try and start playing aggressive to get some kills back. But what Shaiko does is he stays unpredictable. He manages his aggression. He starts off passive. Then when the vert starts being created, he starts peeking up. And then he gets aggressive. Then he finds his opportunity to push up white stairs. He gets found out. So what does he do? He reins back the aggression and starts playing passive. Returns back to sight. Suddenly, W7M are constantly worried about that white flank. He goes to hide in sight. 
staying passive. The concept of that on-off switch of aggression to passive is a skill that's really useful because it keeps your opponents on their toes and they don't know what to expect in front of them. So when Shaiko gets droned out hiding in a corner, he switches on that aggression switch and starts pushing up, looking for a kill. But unfortunately, it doesn't work out. And of course, there are times where you should stay aggressive, but you can manage your aggression to keep yourself in control of the round. You're the one making the moves. You choose when to go aggressive. You choose when to go passive. Not being forced to play aggressive and stay aggressive because of what the other team's doing. You stay in control, which means you have the upper hand. Tip number six will be droning intelligently. Shaiko isn't always your traditional entry where he gets a drone at his feet and he walks in behind the information and kills everyone. A lot of rounds, he will drone for himself and he'll drone his own entry paths to see what the map looks like and to see what utility or gadgets are placed before him to impede him from performing that entry. So as you can see, he's got a drone inside bunker here. He drones out that there's a femrin mine, two bits of barbed wire, the cap can traps. He's droning the setup and what the map looks like in front of him. He knows that there's no ADSs or Womidis, so he can gon six the barbed wire for free, and he sees that the femre is not yet activated. He's droning to see if Shaiko's clear, if Ebox is clear, where are the Capcan traps? Once he gets in sight, what can he expect? He's not just suiciding his drone into a defender, he's actively looking for the information that benefits his entry. This allows him to formulate his plan of how he is going to entry through the double door. And this will transition seamlessly into my next point, not hesitating on an opportunity. Shaiko drones his entry into small tower. He needs to see what's in front of him to perform this entry. He sees that showers are barricaded, so it's safe to melee down the barricade. He then gets back on the drone, and what does he do? He sees for a split second solace inside of dining, and he jumps on the information instantly gets off the drone and into small tower and looks to take the gunfight. The solace is already repositioned by the time he gets into a position to take the gunfight, but the point still stands. There was no hesitation. The second Shaiko knew that showers was clear, he spotted the solace. He knew he had an isolated 1v1 with the solace in dining if he moved at that exact opportunity. If there's an opportunity that comes up, Shaiko takes it. And you should too. Tip number eight is a quick one, and it's not panicking and trusting your team. Quite simply, there's 20 seconds left in a 3v3 on Oregon Basement. A lot of players in the last 15 seconds start panicking, start flicking between 15 different angles, and it gets them killed. But look at Shaiko. He's calm, cool, and composed. Five, 10 seconds left, and he's just doing his job. He understands his job is to hold Freezer because Freezer is so important. If the defense loses Freezer, then his teammates in elbow and closet suddenly cannot solely focus on their own jobs. He trusts his team to hold elbow, to hold the push into the bomb site, and he can react accordingly to them. Tip number nine is pre placed drones. Some entries are stubborn and they think that they don't need to drone and their drones aren't valuable. That's what the support players do. But an entry has the same amount of drones as a support player and they are equally as valuable. Shaiko gets a lot of information in prep phase for his team. He usually scouts out the setups. He can see what operators are being brought and sometimes he even gets his cameras in extremely valuable spots that can be used mid round in the middle of sight for some yellow ping information. Here on Bunker Door, he hides his drone outside the bunker. He hears that the barricade gets ripped down. He hears that they have a Goyo because a Goyo canister starts being placed. And then he uses that information as he runs up to the bunker door. He pre-nades the double door because he assumes as the barricade has been brought down, they might try and spawn peek. And then he even gets an entry kill based off this information because the smoke was retreating and Shaiko knew that the door was already open so he could have a free swing and a 1v1 gunfight against the smoke. Next attack on top floor, he gets a brilliant pre place inside of closet and this feeds information for his team. Are the defenders 
double reinforcing off the closet wall are they having a rotate as we can see w7m doing here and then that allows the igl on team bds whether it be a lems or efac to call a push accordingly or swapping off certain operators you know in siege information is power so get off tiktok in prep phase start driving your drone into the building getting it under some tables in some desks and getting information for your team now the final tip is a bit different there was a common theme along every single clip you've seen today. Can you answer me this question? How many times did you see Shaiko sprint when he was in the building? That's right. None. So tip number 10 is stop bloody sprinting. This is the bane of every player that I see. Sprinting gets you killed. Watch Shaiko as he entries into Kitchen and Green here. He is constantly prepared for a gunfight. He has his gun up and ready at every second he's in the building. So he's never caught off guard, which gives him a higher chance of winning every single gunfight because he's not caught in the sprint animation. He's always ready to ADS and shoot on an opponent that appears anywhere on his screen. Shaiko will only sprint when absolutely necessary to sprint across an angle, to get away from something when he cannot fight it as he's out of ammo. And that's the takeaway. Stop sprinting. And there you have it. 10 tips from Shaiko's POV gameplay against W7M. Big shout out to Guzcasts for the R6 POV YouTube channel from where I gathered all the gameplay footage. So go check him out if you haven't already. His channel will be linked down below. As ever, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I hope you start utilizing these tips to improve your gameplay, whether it be inside of ranked or competitive, because I see these kind of mistakes happen all over the tiers, whether you're an entry-level player or an experienced player. Thanks for watching and have a good day.